just using the things you have installed on your computer on any Windows X XP. So you just go to all pro programs, accessories, just click on paint, wait for it to load, okay, and you start drawing. We're going to try and draw something very simple here. Let's say these are stairs. Very weird stairs, but still stairs nonetheless. So whatever, something like this. Okay, those are the most horrible stairs ever made, but it's not engineering value we're after. And now you make your character, very simply. The stick boy. And feet. Going to tr copy him so I can use him in later scenes. So, first of all, you put him here. You save this paint, this one. Save the first uh, painting you did, save as and save it under any kind of name you want wherever you want it let's say A1 okay you copy, you just click con the control A just copy all the image copy it con control C and then go to start and click all programs if you want, I have paint here already Click here, another paint opens, and you copy this the image from this one onto this, and here is where the editing goes. You grab this little man using that thing eh, there, and you put him on the first step, like so. And you save this image just like you did the other one, but this time using a different name, A2. So we go progressively from A1 to A2. Now we copy this image, open another paint, copy the previous image like so, and now here we edit another time this little billy boy, and we put him another step forward like so. Little imperfections you can delete stuff like this, save A3, go again to start, another paint, copy the previous image as we did before, paste it here, copy this little boy, put him another step forward, like so, this is A4, A4. Copy this image like we did before. Open another paint. Paste it. And we go progressively from here. Copy the little boy. Put him one step forward. Okay, so his head disappears, but the purpose of the video basically isn't it isn't really for it to look amazing, just to be functional and you'll see what I mean by that. I hope I'm not boring anybody who really knows how to do this stuff. But nobody's offended, I'm just trying to make a functional, simple video for anyone who wants to try and make an animation, they can do so. So, okay. Save it again wherever you want, I j I'm saving it somewhere where, where I want it to be, but it doesn't matter where you save it, as long as you find it later on because you need these pictures to make the movie so called movie it's n just a little animation okay and here is at here he is at the last step a7 
I believe it is. Okay, so now you just can close all these other images like so. Now in order to make an animation you have to go to my computer and basically usually you'll have to find Movie Maker which is a program you'll find wherever you have installed Windows usually program files and you'll get Movie Maker here so you'll come here then you'll see Movie Maker in the program files here okay but I'm not going to use this one because I just don't want to use it but you can use that one as well I'll use my Movie Maker from a different target place whatever doesn't matter it's the same thing basically so you click on Movie Maker open it like so and now you have to import your pictures the pictures that you made in paint just click on from the capture video part just keep click on import pictures like so okay and you'll go to wherever you put the pictures in that's why it's important to keep that in mind and select the pictures you made and click on import so here are your pictures okay in order to make a real live motion in real time if so it can look like it's happening now so if it looks like an animation you have to go to tools uh, options and here at the advanced setting here you have to um, select the picture duration you can select for great animations it's 0, 1, 2, 5 but I think this one will be too fast for the little animation I made so I'm going to increase the speed the speed at which the pictures slide one into the others picture tra translation okay it's okay let's see okay I did a stupid thing here picture duration like so and now it's set you just select all these pictures put them here drag them here and you just you can also add music if you want to import music and add it in the audio section but we don't really need music for this so you just save finish movie save to my computer and movie can be simple animation okay best quality now it's saving okay and now you go to wherever you saved it to your target area and look for your movie like so look for simple animation uh, many files here Um, or you can play it from here hmm. okay just let me find the video <laughs> okay so I found the target zone I just forgot it if you forget it too you can save it again and you'll see the target choose place to save your movie so I saved it here okay and now I'm going there my computer okay so here it is simple animation just click on it it takes a while to load so basically that's it <laughs> the person going up the stairs it's very fast and I'm going to try to show it to you again but this is just a simple animation so that's why the speed is not really good here so you can see him walk here he goes up the stairs tuck, tuck, tuck. 
So that's pretty much it. I hope this helped you and I of course you can make more elaborate animations using this basic principle and well see ya.